It's been a while since we were all last here, and therefore it is even more poignant that we are back together again this year, which would have seen Thomas celebrate his 100th birthday. Admiralty, Whitehall, 12th of June, 1945. In Italy, during the advance by the commando to its final objective, Corporal Hunter of C Troop was in charge of a Bren group of the leading subsection of the commando. Having advanced to within 400 yards of the canal, he observed the enemy were holding a group of houses south of the canal. Realizing that his troop behind him were in the open, as the country there was completely devoid of cover, and that the enemy would cause heavy casualties as soon as they opened fire, Corporal Hunter seized the Bren gun and charged alone across 200 yards of open ground. Three spandaus from the houses and at least six from the north bank of the canal opened fire. And at the same time, enemy mortars started to fire at the troop. Corporal Hunter attracted most of the fire and so determined was his charge and his firing from his hip that the enemy in the houses became demoralized. Showing complete disregard for the intense enemy fire, he ran through the houses, changing magazines as he ran, and alone cleared the houses. Six Germans surrendered to him, and the remainder fled across a footbridge onto the north bank of the canal. The troop, dashing up behind Corporal Hunter, now became the target for all the Spandaus on the north of the canal. Again, offering himself as a target, he lay in full view of the enemy in a heap of rubble and fired at the concrete pillboxes on the other side. He again drew most of the fire. But by now, the greater part of the troop had made for the safety of the houses. During this period, he shouted encouragement to the remainder and called only for more brand magazines with which he could engage the Spandaus. Firing with great accuracy up to the last, Corporal Hunter was finally hit in the head by a burst of Spandau fire and killed instantly. There can be no doubt that Corporal Hunter offered himself as a target in order to save his troop. And only the speed of his movement prevented him being hit earlier. The skill and the accuracy with which he used his Bren gun is proved by the way he demoralized the enemy and later did definitely silence many of the Spandaus firing on his troop as they crossed the open ground. So much so that under his covering fire, elements of the troop made their final objective before he was killed. Throughout the operation, his magnificent courage his leadership and his cheerfulness had been an inspiration to his comrades. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Thomas is the latest of 10 VCs awarded to the Royal Marines since it was instituted in 1856. His is also the seventh of eight VCs awarded to the commandos. Thomas's other awards include the 1939-45 Star, Italy Star, 39-45 Defence Medal and 39-45 War Medal. <laughs>